Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use App Flowy in 2024. This is going to be a guide. All right, so just make sure uh, to grab the corresponding application for the platform that you're using. I am using Windows, so go ahead and download this app from the website. And of course, log in. So let's log in. All right, I am now being logged in. All right, I'm in. So let's maximize the window. So the first step after logging in is going to be creating our workspace. So in AppFlowy, this is where you keep all your notes, tasks, and content inside. So follow these steps to set up your workspace. All right, so let's click on the new page. This is going to be our new workspace. Okay, so this is our workspace. And now you can basically start customizing everything that you want. You can add new fields in here, add anything you want. You can add an icon as well. So just press plus and you can do a whole bunch of stuff in here. For example, add an image or add a file, create a table. You can do a whole bunch of work here. Okay, so how do we use blocks? So every page is composed of blocks, which can be text to do's, headings, or embedded elements like tables and media. So as you can see, we already have a to do right over here that you can also customize if you want. You can drag and drop blocks to reorganize your content easily. All right, so we also have task management features. To manage tasks, AppFlowy offers several features. So firstly, to-do lists. You can add a to-do block to keep track of individual tasks. You, we have, we have subtasks. You can create nested tasks by indenting to-dos under a main task. You also have status tracking. You can use tags or labels, for example, in progress or completed to monitor the progress of tasks. Also AppFlowy is open source and it means you can add custom plugins to and integrations. Developers can also write custom code to connect to other APIs or create new widget. And also we have collaboration. It allows for real-time collaboration if you're using it as a part of a team. You can perform sharing by inviting team members to your workspace via email, assigning them roles like editor, viewer, or admin. Real-time commenting and assigning tasks and team chat features are available as well, making it easier to work in teams. Also, of course, we have a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts. So you go to shortcuts and you can customize your shortcuts right over here. We also have data export and backup. You can export as a markdown. You can export pages in workspaces as .md files. AppFlow allows users to also export their documents in PDF format. And in general, this is how you use it. AppFlow is an excellent alternative to tools like Notion, especially for users who prioritize privacy, open source solutions, and customization. If this guide helped you guys, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.